Hey everyone, this is my walkthrough on Pokemon Kanto! And in the last video, we fought our rival for like the seventh time and started our journey towards the Indigo Plateau, which is where we're heading right now. But in this video, after I switch around my Pokemon really quick, we're going to take on the 12th dungeon of the game, also the last dungeon of the main part of this game, and also the final trial to get to Indigo Plateau. So here it is, guys, dungeon number 12. And here it is guys, Victory Road, the last dungeon of the main part of this game and the only thing separating us from the Indigo Plateau. Uh, now, just as a quick warning, this is a strength oriented dungeon, so make sure you have a Pokemon that knows strength with you during this cave dungeon, whatever it's called. You know what I'm talking about. Um, yes. Also, you guys are going to want to have a lot of repels on, because this dungeon has a lot of high-ranking enemies. So you might also want to level up your Pokemon a lot. Oh, 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 that's just great. That's just great. Do you know what, Onyx? Do you know what? Super effective move on you. Okay, good, that missed. Let's see if you like this. Uh, but yeah. Uh, just to tell you guys, repels only work against Pokemon that are that are below level to, uh, than you. I believe you can find up to at least level 48 Pokemon in here. So, um, they're mostly rock types, but, um, and I guess, I really don't have a use for rock types, but maybe if you want, like, a level 48 Onyx, this is the best place to get it. I mean, after all, you won't have to do much training in order to get it ready for the, uh, Elite Four. But I honestly would not choose rock, because rock is not going to be really all that good against, um, what we're going up against, which you will see soon. But anyways, yes, these strength puzzles are needed to, um, get rid of some obstacles that will impede your going through this cave. Um, I'm gonna cut this fight because I really don't want to show it. Ooh, a Ninetales! Do you know, I might show this, because she has a Ninetales, and it's a female. She thinks smart, except for the fact that she uses Safeguard, uh, when it's the last Pokemon out. And the fact that my Pokemon's super effective against- Oh! Ugh. Okay, Fire Spin's not gonna do anything. Haha. Uh -huh. Barely does anything. Ah. Uh. But yes, those strength puzzles like I was mentioning before, they are required in order to get through this dungeon, as annoying as they are. And God, if there was any HM I wish I could get rid of, it would be strength. Like, to get, you know, get rid of puzzles. I get- I get rid of strength puzzles immediately. Now right here, you're going to have to make a choice on whether or not to get one of these two things. Although you can leave and get the other one. I'm going to get this, which is TMO2, which is Dragon Claw. Uh, which is a great Dragon type move. And um, I'm probably going to teach it to my uh, Dragonair once it finally evolves into a Dragonite. The other uh, item there was a rare candy, so if you want that, go ahead and get it. But I would recommend getting that Dragon Claw, especially for you Charizard users. Because guess what? Charizard can learn Dragon Claw. Um... But yeah, right now, Dra um, Yukimi cannot learn Dragon Claw because Dragonairs don't have any hands. Doesn't matter yet. They don't evolve until level 55, so I have a while to go. Um, so yeah, there are a lot of items in here. There's a lot of stuff uh, fighting. I'm not really going to fight a lot of these guys on camera, mainly because I don't want to show that. Oh. <sighs> Onyx, what have I ever done? Okay, well, yeah, I did kind of... Whale on Brox's Onyx. Well, that was with the Bulbasaur. You should be picking on Bulbasaurs, not Lapras's. What have these majestic Lapras's ever done to you except kill you when you're pissing me off? <laughs> Getting a little too crazy. This dungeon makes me kind of, I don't know, loopy. And can I at least get three steps before I stop and put on a repel? And Zubat! Do not want you. Uh, you. By the way, you can also find some ball from Golbat here. And Golbat, I would actually consider to be a really good uh, poison flying type. Although it can't learn fly for some reason. I don't. At least I don't think it can. Um, I believe it can. So yeah, I wouldn't use it as a flying Pokemon. It uses a poison Pokemon, and there's a full heal. Great item to have. Um, I'm 
try not gonna use a. I'm, bleh, I'll try not to use a lot of those like full restore, full heal stuffs because I just really don't want to use that stuff um, a lot during my run. I probably will. Uh, and right there, I just got hail. Um, hail um, is an ice type move. I really wouldn't teach it. It's not honestly a, a worthy move to really have in your party. It, I guess if you really want to, uh, you can, but still. I wouldn't use it for, like, single battles. Alright, um, by the way, just to mention about these strength puzzles. After you leave a room and come back to it, the strength puzzles all reset. So, uh, if you leave a room and come back to it, yeah, you're gonna have to redo it. Which really sucks. And some of these strength puzzles get really annoying, like this one, because it takes forever to do. Uh, why do they have strength puzzles? And people say that the, um, ice puzzles aren't, are way more annoying. No, strength puzzles are more annoying. Mainly because it requires an HM to do it. Ah, Victory Road. Well, Victory, it, it just sucks, but then again, I think Victory Road is meant to be sucky. After all, it's the last dungeon in the main part of the game. Right there is Overheat, great fire type move. Um, a... It does a little bit of recoil damage, but it's a great fire type move, so if you want to teach it, go ahead and do it. I'm probably not going to teach it to Nine Tails, because um, I'm kind of happy with its move set, except with Fire Soul. I might get rid of that move. Alright, let's see what she has. Maybe she has some uh, more evolved Pokemon. The other train that we had, she didn't have any new Pokemon. Come on. Oh, it's a Clefairy! A Clefairy! I pronounced the first Clefairy word wrong, but still, it's a Clefairy! A Clefairy! And, okay, okay. Double slap is barely gonna do anything. Oh, he doesn't, like, five damage. Alright, take it out. Wait a minute! What? Ah, she's gonna use a hyper potion. Lapras. Tonga Roa. I don't really want to say damage Tonga Roa again, because I don't know if anyone's Maori, and I really don't want that to be offensive at all. So yeah, if you're Maori, I'm sorry if I've, you know, offended you, but I don't think anyone really in here is Maori. Okay, I believe these trainers here in Victory Road are armed with at least one Hyper Potion, um, or Full Restore or whatever. Be careful with that, uh, because, um, you know, that's annoying, especially, like, you know, gym leaders use it. Also, by the way, the Elite Four do have those too, so be careful with that. Uh, next is a Jigglypuff. You know, I'm gonna send in my Kadabra because, uh, for some reason now Tangaro is my highest level Pokemon, and I want to make Kadabra the same level. Plus, we haven't even seen a good old beating with Kadabra. Okay, that's not even We haven't seen a good old Psychic, uh, sweep in a while. Come on! Sweep! Woo! That's what I'm talking about! Um, uh, okay, Pers okay, she's not... She doesn't really have any new Pokemon. I actually am going to switch out because uh, per that person might know some dark type moves and I don't want to risk that. So we'll send out uh, Ace because Ace needs some level ups. Um, geez. Hopefully Aerial Ace will do some good damage. Come on, do some good damage. Oh, okay. That's great damage. Ooh, hate it. I really don't know if that actually makes me lose money after I win, if, like, if she hits me, but I still win against her. I really don't know what Payday does if you, uh, win anyways. She can set out a Dugong. Okay, I don't think we've seen a Dugong yet. Dugong is the evolved form of a seal. It's a water ice type, so like Lapras, it shares the same weaknesses and strengths. Um, not really an all-good water ice type. I'd rather go with Lapras on that or Cloyster. Um... I guess if you really want to be, like, unique, um, I wouldn't wreck, uh, oh my god! Ooh, that might be bad. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. Because, uh, Lauf is a trooper. But yeah, I guess if you want to be unique, I guess you can use one, but, uh, still. I don't really consider it all that good of a Pokemon to have. She has a Chansey! She got lucky at the Safari Zone, I'll tell you that. Okay, right now I'm going to show you why a lot of people want a Chansey. Look at its defense. I'm going to hit it with Psychic. 
Do you see the lag on that? Unless Egg Bomb. Okay, Egg Bomb is not a thing. But, uh, yeah. Chansey is a super defensive Pokemon. It's a great Pokemon to have. And Sing is annoying. And Synchronize doesn't work against Sing. Shit. I believe Synchronize only works against... Paralysis I know it works against. I know it works against, um... What else does it work against? I believe it also works against Poisoning and... Burn. I just know it doesn't work... It also doesn't work with confusion, which kind of sucks. That'd be awesome. By the way, just tell you, the Pokemon are getting smarter as you go along, so she might try to throw out something. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Oh! Oh, stop using Sing! Sing is a very annoying move. Is it always gonna use a secret egg bomb? It's either use something new on this turn. If not, then oh well. Chan yeah, but Chansey is a great Pokemon to have. If you caught one, then goddamn, you got lucky. Um, would I use it for the Elite Four? I don't really know. That's kind of a tough one. I guess if you teach a lot of good moves, totally go for it. But another thing that's good about defeating Chanseys, look how much experience they give you. Oh! Chansey is a great Pokemon to have. Um... I've never actually really used one on my team. Like, I've caught them for the Pokedex, but I've never really used one on my team. So I really don't know how good they are in terms of battling. I just know that they have great defense. Uh, but yeah, anyways, if we keep going over here... Um... Oh, God. Oh, wait, hold on. I actually forgot to show something. Uh, for anyone who's playing along or plays the original, like... Red, blue, green, yellow, you know, the Generation 1 games. Um, there's something you should probably know, unless you already know it. That is, if you go down here, this, of course, is not in the Generation 3 games. But see this crater right here? This is where Moltres was originally found in the Generation 1 games. Um, you can't find it here now, because, of course, it moved to Mount Ember. But, yeah, that's where Moltres is in the original games. So, um, really, Moltres was the only bird that was in an optional dungeon. So yeah, you ha so you had to go out of your way to get Articuno and Zapdos. Um, and I guess that's okay too, because I think a lot of people consider Moltres to be the easiest of the three to catch. Um, I I really don't know what's the easiest, I'm just sure that Articuno is the hardest to catch. Which I agree on. Articuno is definitely one of the harder ones to catch. But then again, all, legendary all legendaries are hard to catch. Um, and by the way, speaking of legendaries, um, don't spoil anything because I know some of you have, but if you haven't read the spoiler comments yet, um, yet, don't, because I'm going to tell you this, that, not that, why is it that Onyxes always keep interrupting me? Leave me alone! I don't want to rock Pokemon for my team, because... The, there's nothing really that the Rock Pokemon are gonna do for me in the Elite Four. I already like my team as it is. I have a good team. A Fire type, a Grass Poison type, a Water and Ice type, a Psychic type, a Dragon type, and I forgot the other Pokemon, a uh, uh, Normal and Flying type. And, oh god, I'm gonna get trapped by Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, but anyways, the other thing I was going to tell you about Legendaries is that we actually haven't cut all the Legendaries in the game yet. There is still one more. Don't say its name, because I know some of you like to be assholes and ruin it, but don't. Oh, ooh, this guy's a Kingler. Okay, new Pokemon. Okay, Kingler is the evolved form of a Krabby. Uh, do I consider Kingler good? It has some really good defense, which works for it. I just really don't consider that all the good of a Water type. I guess if you want one to be unique, go ahead and get it. It does learn Crab Hammer, which is a move that I like. It also learns Guillotine, which is a super awesome move. Oh. I just don't really consider... I believe it, even though that has really good uh, defense, I believe that has really sucky special defense like that. So, uh, there is some things that has good... Uh, it also has pretty bad. And next is the Poliwhirl. I'm pretty sure we've seen one of these, but we haven't. It's the Evolve from the Poliwag. I mean, yeah, Poliwag. A uh, great Pokemon for Water type. Um, you can't really access this yet, but if you um, give it a King's Rock, you can get a Politoed, which is a great Pokemon. Um, 
Or you can trade it and get a Polyrath, which uh, makes it become a Water and Fighting type. Learns a lot of great moves, has some really awesome strengths. Uh, but yeah. Oh, a Tentacool! I don't think we've seen a Tentacool yet. Okay, a Tentacool is the evolved form of Tentacool. I'm pretty sure you've seen them everywhere on Surf Roots. Uh, Tentacool is a really cool Pokemon, mainly because, and I like it a lot, and hate it at the same time, mainly because it's not weak to grass. Because of its water poison type, it's not weak to grass, which is nice. It just takes normal damage to grass. Yeah, it's super, it's super effective. It's weak, it's, ugh. it's really weak to uh, Psychic, so that's kind of a bad thing about it. But it's a great Pokemon to have if you want to be unique, and I've used Tentacruels on my team before, and I swear against them if you just need a water Pokemon in a pinch. They also learn a lot of HMs. Oh, and a Blastoise! Wow, this guy just pretty much has a full team of Pokemon we haven't seen yet. Blastoise is the final evolved form of Squirtle. Great water type, learns a lot of awesome moves. Um, if you teach it Hydro Cannon, it becomes one of the most powerful water Pokemon, in my opinion. Um, it has some really good defense. Um, can't really stand up to grass, really, at all, or electric. Um, and plus, it just looks cool. I mean, come on. It has cannons coming out of its shell. And last is a Seedra. I'm pretty sure we've seen Seedras. I know I fought like a million Seedras. Seedras the evolved form of a horsey. Um, it's pretty awesome mainly because it learns dragon type moves. Um, mainly the reason why is because um, you can't get in the main part of this game, but it eventually evolves into Kingdra, which is the water dragon type. So yeah. Um, also has the ability of Poison Point, which is really weird considering that's not a poison Pokemon. So I really don't understand why it knows that ability. Oh, you're cheap. Look at these guys going on. Uh, but yeah, wow, that's good. I'm pretty sure we've covered pretty much almost every Pokemon now. That's it, that we can see and get. Okay, I think maybe except for... Maybe like three or four or five. We haven't actually seen in action, but we will. Okay, maybe like ten. Let's say ten, because we've covered a lot. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll just check my Pokedex and just see how many I've actually encountered. But, um, anyways, yeah. The trainer, I'm not gonna fight her. She mostly has fire Pokemon, so yeah. Alright, we're just gonna push this down the hole, and then we're gonna drop down this. For some reason, it, we, it moves over. Um, now we're gonna have to push it down this way. And we're almost out of this dungeon, guys, if you can believe it or not. That right there is a guy who knows a lot of psychic Pokemon, so if you have Pokemon that knows dark moves, I'd suggest using that Pokemon. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, after this dungeon is over, I think afterwards I'm going to go and train my Pokemon, because as you can see, most of my Pokemon are around, like, level 46, 47. I kind of want to train them up a bit. Alright, there's a double battle if you want to take it on. I'm not going to show it, but those guys have a Nidoran and an, I mean a Nino King and a Nil Queen. All right, there's the exit. Uh, this guy, I believe, will teach you Double Edge, um, which is a good move. Let's see. Oh, awesome! Every single one of my po uh, Pokemon can learn it. I'm going to teach you to Amathodosu, though, because I want her to get rid of Safeguard, which I don't really have a lot of uses for. And I'm probably getting rid of Fire Spin soon. Uh, but yeah, uh, upon teaching Amathodosu Double Edge, I think we're going to end this video, guys. Uh, since we're pretty much done with uh, Victory Road. But, yeah, we're done with the final dungeon main part of this game. So sad. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we're not going to take on um, the Indigo Plateau just yet. I'm actually going to not be uploading videos for a few days. I'm going to start on Monday because I really want to train some more. But yeah, uh, so you're not going to see like a video immediately following this. But anyways, yeah, next time on Pokemon Kanto, we take on Indigo Plateau. And the Elite Four, the final battles of this game, guys. I'll see you guys next time.